Uh, but here is the DJI uh, T16, the Agrath, the giant farming drone. We're keeping our physical distance, obviously, from each other. Uh, we hope you guys are staying safe, but we can't do demos the way we used to do them, so we thought this was an important enough drone uh, that we wanted to show you guys live kind of how it works and uh, what it's all about. So let's yeah. let's get right into it uh, yeah. with so, the drone. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a sprayer on right now, but uh, we'll, we'll turn that off because actually this is a 55 pound and over drone. So we had to kind of strip it down a little bit to get under the 55 pound mark. Um, but essentially you've got four pumps versus two, two pumps on the MG1S and the 1P. Um, let's stop the spray here. And what's really nice is that this thing just pops right out. We're gonna, we're gonna take this out so we lower the weight and everything. And, 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 and eventually we will have the proper clearances to be able to fly an over 55 pound. We just don't have it yet. This is a very new uh, right. drone to America. We've got it for everything 55 and under. We can spray from, uh, we've got our 137. Yep. Um, now we just have to be able to do it from 55 and over. So that's why we're stripping it down to fly it for you today. Right. Yeah, so this is actually the back you're looking at in the front. And uh, we're just going to pop it up in the air. All right, so we're going to take off. Everybody back. radar is actually at the bottom there and it's spinning it's uh, basically uh, big, like 15 revolutions per minute or something like that it might be higher don't quote me on that but uh, anyways you'll you'll hear it beeping if we get close to objects um, it's actually very nimble you can hear it so I'll turn it around and actually get it a little bit closer So this is the front, you kind of barely make out that there's four pumps basically situated underneath uh, the, the front area there. And then you've got uh, eight different uh, T-Jet nozzles that give you about a little over, I think, 20 feet of uh, swath um, width. And this thing has probably about double the output. It's a 16 liter versus a 10 liter. It's just, it's, it's a great drone. I mean, yeah, it really, it flies really well. For as big as it is, it's very responsive and nimble. And the good thing about DJI drones is that no matter what, if you know how to fly a Mavic, you know how to fly one of these. It's just a bigger, much more expensive version. They all fly exactly the same from the, all the way from the mini all the way up. They all have the same controls. Uh, if you can fly one, you can fly them all. And I think the other nice thing that I like about it is just the ecosystem. So you, you can get the Phantom uh, 4 RTK multispectral. You can use that to check out crop health. You can actually, they're starting to do it where, um, you, you know, you can figure out where the problem areas are and you can actually do a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, a, it's spraying, but it's... Uh, you, you're, precision, like well, it pre precision, but it, it's like it, it, you can almost get a prescription for it. So oh, if right. some an area needs not as much pesticide, you know, it, it will show you that. So it's gonna, it, that's how it's going to save you. Right? Yeah, and and so that combined with like the mapping functionality, you can then import the mapping into the T16 or the MG1P or you know, basically the Agra series, and you've got a pre-plotted um, area to, to spray. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really kind of Terra, the multispectral, and, and, you know, one of the agrasses, it makes, like, a perfect combination. And, and it'll cover, like, 20 acres an hour. So, you know, we're not saying, you know, uh, you, you can keep pointing at the drone. It's much, much better to look at. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we don't think in any capacity that this is going to replace, like, traditional crop dusters. That is not the goal here. That is not what we think. We do think this is going to be a very viable tool for uh, for aerial applicators that are already, that already have their 137s. This is mm -hmm. something they can use if there's an area, if there's a part of a field they were never able to get before. 
they've got a current client with a huge field where you know maybe there's a hill they, they weren't able to, to get right or a shaded area they weren't able to hit right you might be able to get in there with a the drone so this is just an additional tool it could be an additional revenue stream um, but we are in no way trying to, to take over uh, the aerial agriculture business we are just adding to it yeah and, and really I mean you, people think about traditional agriculture but I mean this has uh, this has a lot of applications. I mean, yeah. we've, we've talked about you know golf courses, and yeah. and they have multiple different terrains and different types of grasses, and they have aquatics and all that kind of stuff. These these things can get to areas that you normally can't with, yeah. with even a ground sprayer or a traditional like big manned aircraft. I want to make sure that people really get a good idea of just how giant this thing is. I'm going to stand underneath it real quick. Can I do that or no? Uh, I guess technically because you're part of the operation. Okay. Or to the side maybe. Two hundred and ten pounds. I thought you were one forty. <laughs> That's right. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm much heavier than two ten or one forty. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a huge drone. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a big guy. That's a massive drone. We actually put the Mavic Mini on one of its propellers the other day, and it, it just dwarfs the <laughs> yeah, the, the, prope the propeller dwarfs the Mavic Mini completely. So yeah, even one side of the propeller. And a lot of people have been talking about these drones, and, and actually, lots of other parts of the country. Or lots of parts of the world have been using these for uh, to fight the coronavirus. They've been disinfecting playgrounds and you know cities with multiple drones. Um, we're not quite there yet in the United States. Uh, you know, I think there are a lot of regulations that have to be passed before that's probably going to happen. Um, you know, but and we don't even know how effective it would be yet. You know, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, we just don't know. But we're not going to get into all that today. But you know. Uh, a lot of countries are using it for that. Uh, currently, the United States is not. So. All right, so. so this is basically the big brother of the Agras MG1S and MG1P, yeah, which could cover what, like 10 acres, 10 to 12 acres an hour, and this one would do 20. Yeah, yeah, I think it's. Uh, it might even be up to 24. I mean, it, again, it's depending on what you're putting on and everything, but. Uh, Again, this is going to also be able to, you're going to be able to hook up multiple drones to one remote. That is something that will probably come down. It's, yeah. it's starting to. Yeah. Let me land this so it's not a bunch of peeping for everybody. Okay. And then we can actually... Get a little closer to Yeah. We get a lot of looks from neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, um, one thing I did want to talk about real quick so this is the spraying unit so this is the 16 liter um, again it just kind of it's like it's almost like a cartridge style both the battery and this just kind of slide right in they also have a spreader version which this is actually 20 kilograms so if you're going to be going for like a 137 I would probably suggest you kind of uh, plan for the future and think about getting a waiver that's probably over 100 pounds because with the weight of this and whatever uh, you're, you're carrying, you could probably get into upwards 90 to 100 pounds. The charger I actually really love, especially for people that might have the old MG1S batteries or the MG1P. Um, this actually plugs into the T16 battery, but you can actually take this off and it will charge the MG1Ps or the MG1Ss with the proper um, adapter. Adapter yeah. board. Yeah, so it's it's actually, if you're going to get something, I'd get the beefier charger because it's obviously newer and, you know, it, it can actually grow with you. Um, and then we have the multispectral right here, so it's got six cameras. And essentially, you can send this out on a mission. You can do just scouting and actually use the multispectral to, to scout and actually see something live because it'll give you a live image of the multispectral, which is pretty new. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's multi-spectral cameras, but nothing that's built in. Um, and then you can take it into Terra and analyze, you know, different uh, indices, and then also use it for planning your spray with the yeah. T16 or the MG1. And it'll thing. actually detect trees and stuff too. Like yeah, like you'll it'll you know when it goes into Terra, it'll say like, oh, I don't want to spray that. That's a tree. That's different right. than the other stuff is. So. Really interesting technology. Drones are going from, they're getting smaller or they're getting bigger. Um, we've got both ends of it. Yeah. The mini to the T16. So and in between. Yeah, exactly. So exciting times in the drone world. Thank you guys so much for checking us out. Sorry about the earlier stream, but uh, hopefully this gives you what you're looking for. All right. Yeah, but we'll, 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 we'll just kind of fade out and we'll go up and oh, up close if you want to. Oh, and, sure, sure. And you can kind of see the pumps and everything. And, yeah. And then we'll sign off good. so you've got the RTK modules that come standard with them uh, I have the faceplate off but you've got the four pumps here and then they're being distributed to the eight nozzles on uh, four of the arms and then these just kind of break down similar to the MG1S and 1P fold in and you just kind of screw and that just flips right into here so it actually actually goes pretty small but uh thanks for watching from aerial influence hopefully this came out oh what okay uh We'll, we'll be doing more in the future. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.